Woohoo! Let's go! Hi, I'm Bree and I'm the Director of Curriculum at Codable. This short video is going to introduce you to the concept you'll be teaching in this unit. Thanks for watching! Variables store information in a program. You can think of them like a box or a container with a label on it related to the items inside. These items inside are called values, and they can be stored as text or as numbers. When you use variables in a program, you're controlling the output of the program, or what the user sees. There are different types of variables used in different situations. There are strings, integers, and arrays. We're going to talk about string variables, which are used to represent text. Strings hold groups of characters, like a word or a phrase, making it easier for programmers to read and work with. An easy way to think about strings in real life is to think about the way that your brain stores people's names. Think about a person as a variable here. A name is simply a value that your brain uses to identify a person. Just like variables have values that can change, or vary, a person's name can change if they get married or when a friend starts calling them by a new nickname. In programming, strings allow programmers to easily store, find, or change information in a program. In the final part of each lesson on string variables, students will independently practice storing strings, which are represented by colors. When students put a colored fuzzball into the command bin, they're assigning a value to a variable. Students will match the variable with an asteroid type in order to clear the asteroid field. When like asteroids touch in the asteroid field, they'll automatically clear on their own. Students need to think critically and use as few variables as possible to clear the asteroid field. In this level, we can see how students will assign values to variables by using the colored fuzzballs on the left. Like variables will clear on their own, so in this level, students only need to clear the yellow asteroids using one yellow string. Let's think about how strings work in programming. We can use a video game as an example and think about how a game developer can control what the player sees. A character's name, eye color, and hair color are all stored as strings. This makes it easy for a programmer to know or change what variables represent specific information in the program. A programmer working on the game could type in the variable for a character's eye color, for example, and edit the value from blue to brown. This would instantly change the character's eye color and what the player would see in the game. Strings make it easy for programmers to find information in their code and reuse values in their programs. Variables can change, think vary, and strings allow programmers to easily read and change values that are assigned to different variables throughout their programs.